Niall, first of all, welcome to Glentorn Football Club. Uh, just talk us through how you're feeling, joining the club. Just sheer excitement straight away. Uh, obviously, I'm very familiar with the Irish League. I started my career here, but I uh, have no ambitions to the club, and it's, uh, it's definitely an exciting time for me, exciting time for this football club. And I, I just want to get down playing football straight away as quickly as I can. The last probably five to six months have been frustrating for me, so now looking forward to the challenge ahead, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get started. And you were at the, the Oval in December. Were, were there talks prior to coming to that game, or, or was it just a case of coming to the match and seeing? A wee bit of both, to be honest. Uh, obviously, I know Rodney from, from the time at Dungan Swiss. I had a few chats with him, and then I just wanted to come along, experience the game, obviously meet the manager and the, the backroom staff, and uh, just to take in a bit of the Irish League. I've, I've seen a lot of the games, whether it's been on TV, uh, over the course of the many years that I've been away across the water. So uh, I've known how the, the league's progressed, and a lot of credit has to go for the people around all the clubs. Uh, the people involved in the league, how, how, how much has progressed over the years since since I played, so uh, it seems uh, a lot better, it seems more professional, uh, obviously a lot more professional teams, more competitive and uh, that's a league uh, full of obviously quality players and hopefully I can bring my qualities to Dunton. And the windows just opened here in January and you, you had a number of clubs interested, what was the reason in sort of picking Glen Torn? I just think it just fits Bill for, for everything, uh, what I want to do initially now. Uh, and obviously later in, in my career, but priority is, is just to, to go and enjoy playing football uh, and come to a good club. And even years ago when I was at Dungan Swiss, there, there was a chance of moving me to, uh, of me actually signing for the Torn, and that didn't uh, uh, work out. But I ended up moving on to Derry City. But uh, to be back here now, to sort of think, think of like different memories back then to, to where I'm now, I'm just excited. But regarding sort of interest and offers from other team uh, there was interest there which is which is obviously pleasing for me it's it's always nice to as a, a professional to, to have interest from other other clubs but when i sort of took everything into consideration with everything up i, I, I knew this was a, the, be, the best fit for me and we were talking just sort of off camera whilst we were going around the ground there you, you mentioned it about the atmosphere uh the game you were at there on, on boxing day what, what was, was that a factor in sort of joining the, the terms of the the atmosphere the Glentorn fans etc can create Oh, massively. I think uh, even being a Northern Ireland international, the just sort of fans back home, they, they just seem like they're just they're so uh, just love football, the passion that they have, the atmosphere they create, uh, they sort of live for games on weekends, and they obviously go about their business. They have their laughs and the jokes. I'm sure during the week with, with other rival fans, but going on Saturday and you hear that atmosphere and the atmosphere here on Boxing Day was was brilliant and. It just gives you a wee bit of lift and makes you want to obviously be involved in them type of games and stuff. And I, I know going forward, uh, being at a big club, uh, we're, we're going to have uh, many big games, and that's the type of games that I want to be involved in as a player. I know I've played in big games throughout my career, and uh, now I'll be more than ready for, for for the games. And then obviously being obviously the international player and and uh, allowing me to gain experience over the years from from big games like that. That'll, that'll definitely help me and. Me having my experience from, from previously playing in the, the Irish League will, will, will definitely start me in good stead as well. You mentioned there about uh, playing for Northern Ireland. Uh, I'll sort of have a look at the stats yet. He replaced Conor McManaman in, in the international team just about six months or so ago. Do you know many of the players at the club? Or? Yeah, I know a few of them. Obviously, uh, Conor's been uh, done unbelievably well. Uh, he's been one of, he's probably one of the best players in the league, uh, if not the best. Uh, he, he's done really well to be involved in the Northern Ireland setup, and then not only to be involved, but to obviously come in and, and make an impact, which he did. He, he got the fans off their feet. He, he, he obviously did carry on his his good form from from obviously playing here to Torn to, to obviously on an international stage, and that was massive for him. I, I know Shannon as well. Uh, Luke McCulloch was my Euro 2016 squad as well. To think back then that. I'll be joining them uh, a number of years down the line. It's probably a bit crazy, but uh, no, nah, even Big McLean as well. There's there's boys there who who had known Ray Downey over the years as well. So uh, now nah, there's a lot of familiarity about the squad and about the players, which is good. So hopefully with with having the likes of them and obviously the good people around the club, and then obviously Rodney as a coach, so it'll make me uh, settle in quickly. And you're joining midway through your season. It's something that you've probably been familiar with throughout your whole career and joining the January window, but. You set yourself sort of any goals or any targets you want between now and the end of the year? Just to uh, get up to match fit as quickly as possible and hopefully uh, just create chances for, for the forward players, try and chip in the goals as well, just just to sort of hit the ground running and, and uh, get my match fitness up as quickly as possible. I want to I wanna play a lot of football between now and the end of the season and I want to obviously achieve a lot with this club. So it's uh, 
initially it's just about getting out there, working on my fitness, uh, getting up to speed as quickly as I can and hopefully I can help the team as much as I can between now and then the season and hopefully come the end of the season we're, we're obviously uh, pushing for success. And where are you sitting at the moment in terms of your, your fitness and, and match fitness? The fitness has been fine, I've been training every day for the last, since pre-season, I've played a lot of games pre-season, I've been playing a, a good few games over the course of the last three, four months, so uh, fitness wise I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely fine, it's just obviously match fitness is completely different for fitness and it's just getting game time now and then, then match fitness will, will obviously take care of itself, but I've been naturally a fit boy throughout my whole career so hopefully uh, that, that can help me get up to speed quickly. I think we're seeing it's, it's sort of 15 years since you were back then in the Irish League and, and you have played at the Oval for, for Dungan and Swiss and Derry a couple of times. A lot's changed in the Irish League on and off the pitch. What have you noticed from, from where you've been? Just how uh, how more professional it is, how the bigger crowds are coming through the gates. Uh, it's attracting good players. Uh, there's, there's, I think there's good players and oh, they're always getting recognised from, from teams across the water. There's a lot of players moving and going on to doing really well for themselves. I know from, from my time when I first initially came through, the likes of myself, and then obviously a few years later with, with Stuart Dallas going across the water, but now you see more and more uh, interest come into the league regarding players being attracted to the league and then of course obviously uh, as I said teams teams up from across the, the water in England and Scotland uh, coming to, to obviously see the talent in this league and I know it's a, it's a league full of really good players and it is always so, sometimes about the, the players getting the, the right opportunity maybe a wee bit of luck along the way but regarding me coming to the league I, I know how much has changed regarding the fan bases uh, even the facilities and stuff of the stadiums and the, the pitches have, have got a lot better over the years so now credit to everyone who's been involved in all the help that they've done over the years and even think with, with the sort of success of the, the international team over the last few years I think that's all helped uh, the sort of stem down into the, the grassroots football as well but with, with obviously younger academies uh, benefit from that and obviously the women's football too is, is, is massive so uh, I think collectively through the men's football, women's football we're, we're all definitely moving in the right direction. Absolutely, and yourself as a player, you're sort of known as, as a pacey winger uh, over the years. Have you found that you've adapted your, your game in terms of as you get older and more experienced? What sort of player would you call yourself now? Just a more all-round player, yeah. I, I remember when I burst on the scene, I was just very fast. And I think the older you get, the more sort of experience you get, obviously, in the sense of knowing when to cross a ball, knowing when to take a man on, when, when you're tracking maybe one or two players. It's, it's just taking their... It's just taking the right uh, choice of pass or the, the right moment to cross the ball or to get a shot away or get, just create that half yard to, to get across. So uh, as the years have gone on, I've definitely adapted my game, but uh, I think I've adapted in the right ways that I've, in the sense that I've, that I've used all my, my attributes really well and I've obviously practiced on, on a lot of things over the years, whether being right foot, left foot, both things. And uh, that's allowed me to have a, a long jeopardy in, in the game. And I've, I've played at a, a very high level in, in, in Scotland with obviously moving to Celtic and then Aberdeen for, for seven, eight years playing European football. So I've allowed myself to, to keep working hard, to gain experience from everything, but I feel now coming now back to Irish League, I'm definitely a more all-around player regarding uh, what I can offer. And you've obviously had a number of conversations with Wendy and Mick before joining the club. What was it that, that they said to you, sort of, you know what, I, I like that? Just how, how they want to go about things, how exciting the club is, what they want to achieve. Uh, as manager, uh, as a coaching staff, and they obviously are, they're trying to build here a, a really good squad of players with which they have, and with hopefully having the, the likes of myself, I can come in here and help the, the players who are here, help the young lads as well, but all together we're, we're, we're fighting for the same cause, and we're wanting to do as well as, as possible for, for the Torn to, to go and achieve success together, so it's something that's exciting for me, uh, I want to be involved in that, and I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it all. And you've been here, you've been at the Oval, you've experienced the atmosphere that the Glentorn fans I've created if you got a message for our, for our supporters? Just uh, stick behind the team, uh, get behind everyone. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the fans. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting on the, the green jersey and just getting out there and enjoying my football. And uh, Hopefully I can bring the excitement to them and bring uh, obviously excitement to the other players and uh, just enjoy, enjoy it, stick, stick together. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll need everybody regarding players-wise, fans-wise, if, if you want to achieve uh, success.